Hello everybody, I'm here in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. I'm recording right now the 5 Minute PM podcast. I'm coming in to Audio Art, where I will meet Claudio and we will record our, our podcast in English, okay? I'm on the way here. Yes, hi. Hello. Come here. This is the area where I record uh, the podcast. I usually come here uh, about once a week to, to record the, the podcasts. And this, this is the technical area. And this, this hi. gentleman here is Claudio. He's from Audio Arte, and he Hello. is responsible for preparing all my podcasts and also to remove all my gags and loud uh, speaking and, and, and low speaking. And how yeah. are you, Claudio? Yeah, I think that's about it. You said it all. <laughs> oh, that's okay. great. That's great. So I, I will now I will come into Aquarium and then we will record together one one podcast and so how to see how to see a, a little bit how it works and to see uh, that I'm thinking loudly so it's uh, it's it's a very interesting he opened the mic and start recording and I start talking and and that's all aquarium is the nickname we call for the cabin for the recording okay yeah okay <laughs> so let's let's see let's meet inside okay let's go there Hello, now we are inside the aquarium, the, the, the cabin, and I'm ready, uh, reading here uh, the, the topics that I received, the, the team requests, and, and today I'm, I'm planning to record one, one podcast is, are all project managers the same? So this, um, I'm discussing a little bit that the IT project manager and also the 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 engineering project manager uh, are them the same their behavior must be the same and it's more important to be uh, an specialist or it's more important to be a generalist and 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 think globally in different parts of the project or be more technically oriented so we will record this it's about five minutes I'm I have here uh, a chronograph that can control a little bit and and it, it's very important because I'm not reading so and, and of course I'm, uh, English is not my native uh, language so for me it's uh, sometimes very hard because I need to think loudly so I apologize if I record with some mistakes but I, I decided to do that instead of reading so uh, I'm thinking loudly and I spend about five minutes on this topic uh, so everybody all, all all the listeners they can understand a little bit what I'm doing uh, uh, when I'm publishing the, the five minute podcast okay now Claudio are you ready so let's start the five minutes p.m. podcast Hello everybody, welcome to the 5 Minutes PM podcast and today I'm, I'm planning to talk a little bit about uh, one topic that I received from Maria Helena Bernardo and Marco Aurelio and, and, and uh, the title is very interesting. Uh, are all project managers the same? And this is about talking a little bit about uh, a technical oriented project manager or uh, a more gener generalist and more broader project manager. Uh, I'd like to start uh, uh, talking a little bit about my life. Uh, regardless of being a chemical engineer, I start my career in project management at the IT sector. And, and now I'm, I'm almost not doing any, any technical and IT related projects right now. And, and, and all my all the competences that I developed during my IT uh, career as a project manager, they helped me a lot to, to understand the speed, the pace, and, and all, all the, the, the very quick environment that we, we, we can see in the, the technical sector. And, and with that, I could apply all this learning in order other areas like I'm working right now like oil energy and, and power generation and, and one thing that for me it's it's really really important is that you don't need to understand technically everything about your project it's it's for me this is my personal opinion it's for me much more important that you think 
and in leadership skills that you think a lot about negotiations a huge ability of communications understand the risks so it's 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 very very important that you think in a generic way and not only the technical aspects i'm sure all the troubles that i have in my projects it, 99% of them are not technically related. So I, I, I'm, my, my personal opinion is that to be more generic uh, will, will make you a, a much broader project manager. And, and for example, I have clients in the financial sector, I have clients in the oil uh, sector, and I also have some clients in the IT sector. So uh, if, you, if you close your, your uh, field of action, uh, to IT, maybe you will lose a huge opportunity to 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 apply all of your learning about project management in in other areas. So uh, for me, what makes a, a really a great and outstanding project manager is the human ability, and the communications ability, and the planning ability, the ability to to address the risks and to make everybody work together. Of course, and I'm sure that we will need technical people to do the work. Uh, I'm sure about that. We need. But uh, I don't think that the technical behavior is the most important behavior for the project management. This is not, this is not right, in my opinion. We, we need to understand that, it, it, of course, if you have the, the technical competence, Together with your project manager behavior, this will make you uh, uh, more than a great project manager. But if you need to opt between being technical and, and being a more generic and, and, and more prepared and more a project manager in a generic will, will give you a lot of advantage uh, uh, between you and only a technical aspect. This is really, really important. For example, if we read the, the, the PMBOK guide, the PMBOK guide is a generic document, it's a generic standard. And, and you can apply it for uh, the tourism industry for the, uh, to, to create a new, um, a new airport or to, to build a new home or to, to make a merge and acquisition, an M&A. Uh, it, and, and if you understand all the aspects involving scope, time, cost, quality, risk, communications, human resource, this will make you a, a, a great project manager. And not understanding uh, how the pipes connect themselves to build the oil platform. Uh, this, is, this is not for me a required competence for being a project manager. So if you open your mind, then or your market will be at any kind of company, any kind, from hospitals to airports, to, to constructions company, to oil company, to IT companies, they will make, this will make you a much, much, much open and competent professional. This is uh, what I was planning to talk today. So let's talk next week in the next 5 minutes pm pod podcast see you that's all